Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna tell you a little bit about repairing uh, Passload 360. Um, we, you are gonna find usually many videos about how to repair them. I've looked on internet on YouTube and I couldn't find. So actually the problem at the moment is as you can see the piston stuck out and it's not gonna get in. Usually you see that by checking this uh, like this plate. as it should so all green green there green on the gas green on the battery we're gonna remove the battery and the problem in this case is gonna be the reed valve which is this one it's gonna work on 360s the old ones or whatever the, the new ones so what I'm going to do now, I'll just do that on time lapse. I'm going to remove all these four bolts and I'm going to remove, try to remove one hand the magazine so I can show you a bit more detail. I'm going to use this bit kit in here and the driver. I'm going to clean the gun with car cleaner and then I'm gonna use that logo if you can. So first of all you've got to remove the magazine, remove the nails. very dirty inside. I'm gonna give them a nice clean. Be careful with the spring. It's, they are very easy to lose. So this bits I'm gonna put them away in here. Now I'm gonna pull this out. Piston stuck out. Yeah. It's not a good noise. It's not one of the best noise. As I push it in, the piston has come out. It's very dirty. I'm gonna give it a clean with that uh, nice brake cleaner, car cleaner. Yeah. So it's gonna be. So now I'm gonna change the bit. That goes in, yeah. It's perfect. So Be 
read valve is going to be damaged. So, we've got to put the bolts away. And here we are. Ta da! That's what I told you. If you get ever problem with the piston sticking out, you can see clearly that's damaged. So, luckily, last time when I repaired that, I bought another one to buy heavy as a spare. Now I'm gonna give it a nice clean. I will put it on time lapse so you can see how I clean it usually, and then I'll assemble it back and show you how it does it work. joint of the first ring is going to be here and the next one is going to be better to be opposite so it's like 12, 12 o'clock of the other one so saying the top one is here and the other one is here so they sit opposite and then it's more compression on the gun let me get the now the next part i'm gonna lubricate this cylinder Then the next one, I'm checking which side the piston uh, bar goes on. So we can see this one is used, so it's going to go at the bottom. You usually flip through, there you go, and as you can see, nice, nice and smooth movement of the cylinder, which is always good. You can see that, how bright it is. Now, we put in this bit back. This is a bit difficult. I'm gonna use a 90mm nail as the original remover is somewhere where I don't know. the 
second part. Oh, put the springs on. Oh, nearly forgot this. Springs. so they can stay nice and ready for the pins to go on. There is a pipe, a gas pipe, usually. I just go that much and then I can fill it with a finger, as you can see it here, and then press it with the finger and lift it up and go straight on. Before I used to have problems with that, and can pull, pull the piston assembly, hold it up with this clip back. Push it with a pin and it's going to be 
held, as you can see, nicely. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's already in, I'm sure. But if you struggle, just undo these five screws, four, four screws, and then you can see it clear of the valve, gas valve. So now, you put it back nice and place, and then you put it on the top, the second part. Just check everything is not wires on the way. See these two shims, just twist them clockwise and they're gonna sit nice. Just make sure the wires are back and then the last bit. See you next time. Bye-bye.